My name is Reverend Ken Kimbiwe, uh, the senior pastor here at Sitam Buruburu, and I'm glad to take this time just as we get to the end of uh, Encounter 3 of the Safari. Basically, the Encounter 3 of the Safari has to do with uh, knowing God, but beyond that, getting to the place where you as a believer can grow. And so, we intentionally developed these lessons so that apart from just what you will receive in the plenary sessions, in the way of the Word of God being taught to you, there is the next stage, and that is you being able to apply the Word of God in your life so that it can take effect in your day-to-day -day living, in your relationship with other people, and also help you to grow as it were and mature in your Christian faith. And so as we wrap up this encounter three, one of the things that uh, we have taught through the encounter three was the Ten Commandments. And within these Ten Commandments, we are saying that as it was in the days of Moses, when God gave these commandments, these commandments still apply even in our present age and time because the principles of God do not change. The methods in terms of how we worship Him may have changed from the way they did it in the Old Testament and the way we do it in the New Testament, but the principle still applies. And that is why as we look at this commitment, what are we saying? We are saying that even in our own personal life, in our own relationship with others, in our relationship with God himself, there are certain principles that we must inculcate in our lives. And so the 10 commitments that we have given to you should be for you now to translate these 10 commandments into your own living. For example, when we talk about giving our tithes, it talks about the worship of God. And as we talk about matters that have to do with the prayer and fasting, you know, it talks about, again, our devotion to God. When it, we refer to matters that have to do with uh, how we need to look at life in terms of the sanctity of life, it is for your own personal application. And so I pray by the grace of God that we here at Sitam Buruburu will not just be hearers of the word, but we will become doers of the word. And I pray that as you apply these principles in your life, that they will make you to be more effective. They will make you to be more productive in your faith with the Lord. That they will grow you. And in this year of enlarging our tent, we are saying that we want to enlarge spiritually. And I want to thank God for such uh, powerful teachings that we have received. What will you do with what has been put in your hands? To whom much has been given, much will be required. God bless you even as you apply these principles in your own life.